Chris Tyler here at Pikes Peak checking in at 36905X Cyber Nux Robotics. Already a couple of wins under their belt. They're coming in from the uh, Kansas City area here at Pikes Peak looking really good. We're going to take a look at this robot. Awesome build quality on this spot, but we got to cover some cool features and attributes as well, too. Going through the pneumatic systems, the drivetrain, uh, and their climber as well, too, with the B tier climb. So let's learn more about this team coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. We got Maddie here on the controls, and Joey going to be covering more about the robot here. Let's start kind of from that bottom up. Talk to me about uh, your dry train. I really want to hear about that build quality we talked about as well, too. All right, so uh, I guess I'll start it off with the drive here. So we have a pretty standard six motor drive, 360 RPM on uh, 3.25 inch wheels. So that just, we have a plenty of torque and plenty of speed getting across the field. And then we have sleds on the front and back, uh, in addition to rollers to help us get over the barrier really easy. So uh, another thing we do is we have our battery and brain really low, so we can keep our center of gravity low, getting across the field. It just helps with like prevent tipping and stuff. With those rollers that you have on the front here, I'm assuming you're primarily just going over this way with the rollers and sleds? Uh, actually, we go from the back most of the time. And oh, really? the rollers actually roll on the ground. Gotcha, okay, that's cool. Uh, and then, so we have our six motors and then stacked on top there. It's kind of hard to see. So. I guess next I'll go up into the uh, our pneumatic system. So we have two, actually we run two tanks to two different systems. So our wings are on one system. You can go ahead and demonstrate that. Yep. So we have vertical wings just because the they don't bend as, and flex as much when you hit a big group of uh, tri balls. So another, and then go ahead and retract those. And then we have our B tier climb, which here, go ahead and put that up. Or other one. Yep, and then go ahead and put it down. Yep, so it's nice B-tier climb with that, just with two pistons and some rubber bands. What uh, made you want to go with uh, separate pneumatic systems for each one of the features on there? So in some matches, we tend to use our wings a little bit more than others. So sometimes it just depends on what PSI we're at, and we sure. need a certain PSI to get up to B-tier with only two pistons. How many, uh, with only having that one accumulator tank, then how many times can you deploy wings in a, in a match typically? In a match, we could probably deploy them 20 or 30 times. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's... it's not, not a lot of stroke on the, uh, on the yeah. cylinders there. Gotcha. They're regulated down, so it's not using much air, which is Very cool. nice. Overall, uh, when you approach the over-under game, uh, what were some like really key things that you like really wanted to accomplish? And then from a build quality standpoint, like what does that mean to you exactly and how you approach this game? Yeah, so we really wanted to be small this game. So one of the things we did is our drivetrain from the front to the back is 24 holes long. I guess with the sleds it's longer, but uh, 24 holes long, which is pretty small for that. So we have plenty of room on either side. That just, the smaller profile allows us to get around the field a lot easier, uh, I think. So it's kind of harder to defend with a shorter bot. And then really, we really wanted to be durable this season because a lot of bots going over the bump, they just get really shooken up. Yeah. And a lot of the things we do on here, like angled standoffs and we have up in here, we have custom uh, brackets we cut out of aluminum on those five wide plates. Uh, they just hold the bot together really well. And everything on here is just Loctited and now locked up, so it just doesn't fall apart. Talk to me about Matt's strategy a little bit. You know, you got two event wins under your belt. You're coming here to this signature event. We've seen that meta change, right, where it's been going more that bowling uh, factor versus using flywheel match. Do you find that as something you're going to be doing here, or is there anything uh, different that you think you're going to be using at the signature event in regards to math strategy? Yeah, so I think we're going to be doing a lot of uh, bowling, and I think we're also, it really just depends on who we're playing, I think, because we're going to be match loading if we think that it's probably a better, uh, I don't know, I think a better strategy going into the match, just based on who we're playing, we'll kind of make that up as we go with our teammate and the queuing tables and stuff. But I think we'll be doing a lot of bowling just because the way the game has evolved. Well, we're looking forward to seeing how this uh, performance takes light. Cybernuts Robotics, once again, thanks uh, for telling us more about your team and your robot. Best of luck at this signature event. Yeah, thank and you. I can't wait to see how you do. Thanks a lot for telling us about yeah. the team. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. 
The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.